What I've noticed changing in British tea drinking habits is I think people are a bit more adventurous now. People just used to drink a proper brew from the morning, they, the minute they got up in the morning to the last thing at night, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, they'd have a cup of tea. I think people now still start the day with a proper brew, but after lunch they might experiment a bit more, so they may have a speciality black tea, or they may switch to a herbal or a fruit infusion at, at bedtime, for example. So I think people want a little bit more variety and something that suits their changing lifestyles just to balance the stresses and strains of everyday life. I am a tea connoisseur, I'm slightly addicted, I'm known for it. <laughs> My favourite kind of tea is three mint tea actually, um, I'm really enjoying the peppermint of this one so far. I just love English breakfast tea, it's the best. Oh grey sometimes, afternoon, oh grey, quite nice. Uh, the first cup of the day, definitely. <laughs> What's special about this uh, range is the attention that's been paid to the quality of the herbs that contain some of the compounds associated uh, with their kind of well-being effect, stimulating the immune system or calming the stomach. When we were creating the range of fruit and herbal infusions, uh, our main aim was to create something that was pure of nature and mighty of flavour, and what is more pure and mighty than ballet and water. My favourite thing about peppermint tea is it's excellent for after meals and I find it quite calming. Yeah, on an evening, chamomile and vanilla definitely help me go to sleep. I'm kind of addicted to the rhubarb, which is strange because I don't actually like rhubarb, but the tea is amazing. I'm trying some different new things. I think we were just speaking to uh, some of the ladies and everybody said rhubarb is quite popular. They think it's quite new and different and yeah, it, has a, it was really lovely. So far, the um, elderflower and blackcurrant is my favourite. The sweet rhubarb one is a great pudding substitute. Blackberry and elderflower is another one that's very, very naturally sweet. And again in the evening, um, after dinner, spiced apples are really, really good one as a, as a naturally sweet dessert substitute.